The following program contains no firearms, no scenes of hunting, no violence and no cruelty to animals. We do not promote hunting. All guns shown in this program are compressed by spring, gas piston or PCP. Do not require a firearm license. The program is aimed to be informative, entertaining and sportive. So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we are. Uh, again to do a review of a newly launched Indian PCP air rifle. So this is a newly launched fully regulated air rifle from Gandiva Advanced Research and Equipments. This is called the Falcon. This air rifle has quite few nice features actually. We will get to know more about this gun in detail. Let us get into the video and start the review. So taking a look at the air rifle, this air rifle looks completely new in the lineup of Indian PCP air rifles. Obviously it is new. This is the first fully regulated air rifle in India uh, actually they have been working on a regulated PCP air rifle for quite a long time now finally they have done it this gun has a inbuilt regulator inside the reservoir over here so let's get to know more about each and every detail of the air rifle actually so starting on the front we have a moderator on the front this comes with a built-in moderator so this is a very slim and small moderator Hushes the sound quite a bit actually, it does a decent job. Shooting outdoors, I didn't find any uh, cracking noise or something coming out of the muzzle of the gun. So it does a decent job. Behind that we have the barrel of this gun. This gun has a longer barrel like about 500 mm of barrel length uh, which is the longest barrel among Indian PCP air rifle right now I hope so. And this barrel accepts quite a few selected varieties of pellets actually. JSP is H&N Barracuda's JSP 8.4, 10.34, 13s, everything works really well. So the barrel is quite good and below the barrel we have the reservoir of the gun. The reservoir of the gun seems to be like about 190 or 200 cc of reservoir which has a inbuilt regulator inside the reservoir. So the regulator is adjustable actually. The regulator of the gun is adjustable but in order to adjust the regulator you can't do it externally so you have to degas the gun remove the reservoir, make adjustment in the regulator and then put everything back together and uh, shoot the gun. So in order to set the regulator pressure, they have added a screw on the side over here. I will post up pictures for those things. So if you remove the screw over here and you can screw in an extra gauge on the place which shows the regulated pressure output of the gun which is a very cool feature they have thought about uh, which was very useful for me. When I wanted to set this gun for 15 foot pounds of uh, energy, so I put a gauge on the side and set up the regulator pressure for about 90 to 100 bar. Now the gun is running at around 100 bar of uh, regulator pressure actually. Uh, gives 15 foot pounds that is around 800 to 850 feet per second of speed. Uh, and in the front we have a manometer which shows the uh, reservoir pressure. The available pressure in the reservoir is displayed in the manometer on the front and there is a dust cap over uh, the fill port pulling out the dust cap you see the fill port of the gun where you put in your supplied in fill probe the gun comes with a supplied in fill probe so which has a froster fitting quick fill froster fitting at the bottom which is a cool feature uh, the px120 review in the px120 review like we saw px uh, pressy hole launching the quick fill fill probe and gar has also done the same uh, I think all the manufacturers should be doing the same actually. We need a universal uh, solution for this thing. So this is a nice feature about the fill probe actually. So this gun can be filled up to 200 bar of pressure and right now it can be shot down to 100 bar which is the set regulated pressure of this gun. I am getting about uh, 50 accurate shots out of this gun. The velocity readings which I took the short string is like about it had about 10 to 15 feet per second of spread between the whole 50 short string which I took out of this gun and behind the reservoir we have the action block of this gun and uh, this action block has a 11 mm doubt tail which is built on the top of the action block so which on which we have I have mounted a T Eagle 1 to 6 times magnification scope which is a very clear scope even though it doesn't have quite a bit of magnification this scope is crystal clear uh, unfortunately, I forgot my scope cam today, so I couldn't uh, show the clarity of the scope. At least I will post a picture of the scope uh, reticle actually. Uh, it is very clear, wide field of view, 
very good score for sure and this gun has a side lever action the side lever action on this gun is far more better than all the side lever action which i have used before on the gandhi was uh, lineup actually so this is very smooth uh, doesn't have any uh, stuck or flaws actually uh, works very smooth like doesn't need much of an effort never failed actually never slipped off it is really good i would say and on the other side of the action block we have the newly launched safety mechanism so i have to turn the gun over to this side so this has a newly launched safety mechanism this kind of a latch kind of safety like you push it to the front it is on fire the trigger moves and push it to the back this locks the trigger movement the trigger is completely locked so doesn't break so this safety i think the gun is with me for about more than a month of time and never failed actually the safety never failed among this time the gun has a good trigger setting in it already when it came to me like i didn't adjust the trigger uh, it breaks very clean so i didn't adjust much and the safety works very nice so coming to the trigger of the gun this has a adjustable two stage trigger the gun has a small first stage i mean like it has a decent first stage stops and then the second stage breaks clean actually uh has a first stage stops and then breaks very clean so the gun is empty i can take a dry fire shot so a uh, lot of the gun you can see uh has a first stage decent first stage stops exactly it stops right there i don't like very fine triggers this has a quite good stop actually Uh, i don't like very fine triggers in the sense like i don't want to take unintended shots so i know where i am pulling the trigger so this is right in that kind of a point so stops exactly where it is to be and then fires like crisply fires very clean and nice uh so the trigger works very well the safety works very well all the features of this gun never failed in this one month of period of time which i have been using this gun so coming to the stock of the gun this gun has a beech wood stock uh, a thumb hole model stock actually with finger grooves for the grip and has some fine checkering fine diamond cut checkering laser checkering in the front uh, the checkering looks beautiful the front uh, notch over here all everything the stock is very slim actually you can take a look uh, has a very thin profile stock the only area looks bulky is the back portion of the stock actually right around this place i am a guy who likes classic stock uh i leave it to you guys some of the friends like i had mixed reviews some of the people liked the classic stock for this gun and some of the people wanted this kind of a newly model stock actually uh i just uh, got information from all of my friends around my place so this is what they gave out to be so i leave it to your choice guys and behind the stock we have a rubber butt pad ventilated rubber butt pad for the gun so all together combining every feature of this gun this gun has quite some new and cool features which i'm happy about it and really i'm happy about the performance of the gun also so the plan for today is to check accuracy at two different ranges 25 and 50 yards for uh, 25 and 50 yards i have taken pellets and slugs i have tested them at home and found these to be a little bit more accurate and uh, i have got the gsmith 10.35 pellets which i have never tried at home uh so i want to try if some of the indian pellets will also do better in this barrel so i just bought this box of pellets have never tried we'll give it a try and let's get into the accuracy testing do the accuracy testing and come back again with the results and conclude about the performance of the gun so here we are at the 25 yard range to test the accuracy of this gun we will first test it at 25 we will select the best pellets and then we will move on to the 50 yard testing so i have three varieties of pellets and three varieties of slugs actually so we will put it on paper and see which one performs well and we will take one pellet and one slug and test them both at 50 yards so the first pellet obviously my go to pellet is like uh, jsp 10.34 pellets so i'm going to load five shots into the magazine actually there is six shots in the magazine i'm going to take five shots on the target at 25 yards uh through the falcon let's see how it goes almost a hole in hole a 
ओके आई थिंक आई हैव टेकन फाइव शॉट्स ऑल इन टू द सेम होल प्रॉबली दिस सीम्स टू बी द बेस्ट पैलेट फॉर दिस राइफल आई ऑलवेज ट्रस्ट जे एस बीस सो वील ट्राई आउट अदर पैलेट्स ऑल्सो सो द नेक्स्ट पैलेट आई हैव चोसन इज द हेच एंड एन बैराकोडा टेन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव ग्रेन्स सो आई हैव लोडेड फाइव शॉट्स एक्जैक्टली इन द प्रीवियस शॉट लाइक आई थिंक आई हैव टेकन सिक्स शॉट्स इन टू द ग्रूप सिक्स शॉट इन टू द सेम होल लेट सी हाउ बैराकोडा डस वील चेक द ग्रूपिंग ऑफ हेच एंड एन बैराकोडा टेन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव ग्रेन्स ट्वेंटी फाइव आर्ट्स इट्स टेक द ग्रूप ओके फाइव शॉट्स डन विद द हेच एंड एन बैराकोडास लाइक सीम्स टू बी अ गुड ग्रूप इट्स टेक अ क्लोज अप लुक एंड स्विच ऑन टू द जी स्मिथ टेन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव पैलेट्स नेक्स्ट सो वी हैव शॉट टू पैलेट्स द हेच एंड एन बैराकोडास एंड द जे एस ए टेन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव बोथ सीम टू वर्क वेल नाउ वी आर गोइंग फॉर अ इंडियन मे जी स्मिथ टेन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव पैलेट्स एक्चुअली सो वील गिव इट अ ट्राई एंड सी हाउ दिस गन एक्सेप्ट an indian mid belt so loading smoothly let's take the shot at 25 yards okay so when i tested at home this pellet seems to perform much better than what it happened over there now mm, this pellet is not suitable for this gun so we are done with the pellets for 25 yards we found two of the best pellets for this gun like the hn barracuda 10.65 and the jsps so now moving on to the slugs okay the pellets were around 10 grain mark now the slugs are around 13 grain mark and i have a 11 grain gsm slug also so i am testing the spot on blow up slugs so when i tested at home this seems to be the best slug for this rifle let's see i have zeroed it for pellets i don't know how much the point of impact is going to shift but still i'm going to keep the same zero now at 25 yards going to shoot spot on slugs five shots let's see how it goes okay i pull the fourth shot other than that the group seems to be pretty good let's take a close up look and switch on to the next lug so the next lug which you are going to test is the g smith 12.5 grain slugs around the 13 grain mark and i have loaded exactly five slugs accidentally i loaded six slugs into the spot on so i am going to take five shots at 25 yards let's see how it goes okay so as expected the gsmiths performed the same way uh, at home actually there were a couple of flyers here and there but the spot ons were good in this rifle so i have a 11 grain gsmith which recently arrived arrived to me haven't tested in this gun going to test it live just before you maybe it will be uh, accurate or not like i don't know let's give it a try so the last group which you are going to take at 25 yards is the 11 grain gsmith lux uh, got it very recently Uh, I'm going to test it at 25 yards through the falcon. Let's see how it goes. I have no idea how this slug is going to perform in this gun. Never tested it, never shot even a single slug through this. Let's give it a try. Okay, I have taken 6 shots. This slug seems to perform better uh i think it would be either the g smith 11 grain slugs or the spot on 13 grain slugs i had to take it for the 50 yard group if possible i'll try both of them at 50 uh let's wind up the 25 yard target set up the targets at 50 yards and take the shots so there we go at the 50 yard range we are now so the first pellet i'm going to try JSB 10.34, my trusty pellets, always. So let's take five shots at 50 yards and see how the groupings are. So right. 
I think I pulled one of the shot so I load one more shot just to make it a five shot group because I clearly know that one shot was my mistake there you go I think all the shots are under the same hole I am so happy with the results let's take a close up look and try the slugs so the JSP 10.34 group is done at 50 yards now I have taken the H&N Barracuda 10.65 grains so I thought like these two pellets perform very well so I wanted to try the H&N Barracudas also at 50 yards so let's start Okay guys, like I have taken 6 shots out of the magazine, the first shot went away, must be putting a new pellet into the barrel straight away like maybe there will be a flyer on the first 2 or uh, 3 shots. Okay, let's not consider the first shot and I have shot 5 other shots actually. All I could see is like one hole over there but I had to go close over there and see how the grouping is. Let's take a close up look. So finally we are going to test one of the slug at 50 yards. Uh, out of the slugs like I found the spot ons and the 11 grain G smiths to be best but when I took a close up look like I saw the spot on uh, I think 3 or 4 slugs have went into the same hole which is what we want so at 25 yards if there is 2 or 3 pellets into the same hole it should hold up quite good at 50 yards uh, let's see I have loaded up the spot on 13 grain slugs into the magazine I have loaded 6 slugs Let's see, taking a group of 5 shot at 50 yards. The wind has picked up, I think the slugs will hold up and there should be a little bit of drop at 50 yards. I'm not going to compensate anything, I'm just going to hold dead center. Let's see how it goes. Okay. There you go, uh, let's take a close up look at the size of the group and decide what we can do. I have the results of the IQRC testing 25 and the 50 yard targets with me. Let's go one by one and see how the rifle has performed. The best and accurate pellet for this rifle were the JSP 10.34s. Obviously the JSP 8.4s and the 13 grains were also equally accurate. Uh, just in case like I don't want to try all JSP pellets in this gun on this video so I just thought like I'll try h and Barracudas and also the G Smith okay the G Smith I was trying right on this day right over here the G Smith did not suit for this gun uh, so I took other two pellets the h and Barracudas and the JSPs you can see for yourself the 25 yard group is like really good uh, the second runner up is the h and Barracudas actually the Barracudas were all stacking up very close to each other must be about uh, half an inch half an inch of group for sure at 25 yards maybe less than half inch for sure like I'll have to take a look and take a look at this shot the 10.34 JSBs almost into a single hole all the pellets went almost into a same hole so this was 6 shots actually not 5 it is 6 shots uh, 6 shots into the same hole like I am really happy with this performance so i just tried the pellets and we got two winners the jsp 10.34s and the h and n barracuda 10.65 grains and then i just wanted to try some slugs for this gun so when i just tried at home i got like uh, the result that spot on 13 grain slugs were uh, accurate in this gun so the spot on 30 grain slugs i think i took about five or six shots Apart from these two shots in which one of the shots I have pulled it off and other shots were all very close to each other. I was pretty happy with the results and then I tried the G Smith slugs actually. G Smith were not uh, quite holding up together on this barrel. So I will post up the measurements of the group on the side over here and then right on this day I just bought one slug which I received like a couple of days before. The G Smith 11 grain slugs. That's a de decent job actually. The grouping is decent I would say at uh, 25 yards. Not so close. Maybe we have to adjust the speeds a little bit to the up and down to get 
a better result. I will do this for sure. I will bring the same gun shooting particularly slugs, tune for slugs and see how the performance is going to be at uh, 2550 and maybe even at longer ranges too. So the slugs were doing a quite a decent job but the pellets were doing a fantastic job. So I thought of do, taking the pellets to 50 yards and testing them at 50. Here is the 50 yard results right over here. I have used the bigger target for the 50 yards. First I used the uh, JSB 10.34s. I had to look at the video to find out when was this shot. I did not know like uh, there was a shot over here actually. So I thought all the shots are into the same hole and one I pulled off. I just pulled this shot off. So ignoring this we have like about one more shot again to the uh, I mean like way off to the left actually. So we will know from the video actually. But even considering those flyers I would say like this is quite a good grouping at 50 yards. I think about four pellets or something into the same hole at 50 yards is like quite undecent and then I moved on to the HN and Barracudas 10.65 the first shot I don't know what it is maybe a flyer whatever like moved way to the left and then after that all the shots were very close to each other must be about half an inch of group I hope so at 50 yards 50 yards half or 3 by 4th of an inch group is I would accept it any day for sure this also has the capability to do even better results at longer ranges I had to try at longer ranges for sure so and then I went on to the slugs okay as I told earlier the gun is set to shoot at 10 grain pellets and these slugs at 13 grains was doing quite a bit of good job at 25 yards and did not do well at 50 because they were dropping quite a bit at 50 yards. So the group seemed to open up a bit maybe with different speed setting right set exactly for the slugs this gun may perform better I will tune up that thing and post the results of the slugs. Uh, maybe in a separate video or in some other blinking video for sure. Here we have come to the end of the video actually. Uh, we saw the newly launched regulator PCP air rifle from Gandiva, the Falcon, uh, which has a longer barrel, a good reservoir capacity, built-in moderator, a regulator which has a very consistent power output, the accuracy is good, uh, like uh, has a thumb hole stock, a bead stock, a good trigger a side lever mechanism and a fail proof safety actually the safety is what I love the most out of this gun uh, comparing to all the previous model safety of Gandiva like this is the best out of their safety mechanism for sure so has a good stock a slimmer stock which is easy to hold and handle this gun was tuned to shoot pellets today so the pellets performance was remarkable but was not tuned to shoot the slugs maybe the slugs need a uh, different speed uh, to shoot accurately I'll tune the same gun for slugs because this gun has a longer barrel should shoot the slugs really well uh, maybe at 25 yards I saw some good groupings with the spot on that group should be followed up to 50 also maybe since it is dropping quite a bit and uh, it is on the heavier side not giving out the good results at 50 yards maybe if it is tuned in the right speed maybe it will give the results we are expecting for so I will tune up the gun, bring the same gun into the next video and see like uh, how the gun performs at longer ranges. For pellets, this gun is like exceptional. Uh, for your information, I just took this gun, this particular barrel from this gun and I used it in the bench rest competition which happened at Agra last time. And this was a winner for sure. And uh, I hope I have delivered all the information you are looking for from this gun and if you want more information, you have any doubts, feel free to ask for questions in the comment section. I will reply all of your questions for sure or you feel free to message me on my Instagram or mail me uh, for your queries. I will just reply each and every one of you for sure. So hope to see you again in the next video for sure. I have some video which is already done i am in the process of editing a video i will post it in the next week for sure i bought a bag from pling sport for my px120 minata bullpup the bag was having some quite and cool features actually like i wanted to share with you all guys we don't have a good bag for bullpup air rifles in india so they have one uh, which is very good for my bullpup uh, so i'll post about the bag and the features of the bag i'll post a small review of the shooting uh, carry case for my px120 minute or in the next video see you all in the next video we'll post some videos which you all wanted like share with me like what kind of videos you want i'll post it in the upcoming videos see you in the next video Bye bye